Hey everyone, Rick Ninja Productions here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Mega Man X D Arts Black Zero figure. In my opinion, this figure is amazing. He has a lot of articulation, a lot of accessories, and detail is perfect. There are some flaws with it though, but not too much. So anyway, let's get it started. Starting with the articulation. Articulation is... Oh, that's one of the flaws I have with him. His head doesn't really like to stay on. Hold on. Articulate his head. Well, first off, his hair, can, his ponytail can move up and down like so, and moves like that. So you give it like a flowing effect. His head will rotate side to side, up and down at the head, and at the actual neck. I don't know if you can see that. But his arms are on. Well. His neck's on a ball socket joint, his head's on a ball hinge, his arms are on a ball socket joint, they can move four all the way around, they can move in and out like that, it's also on a ball hinge, you can move arms out like that, as a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and his wrist can move side to side, and up and down, it's on a double ball socket joint, his torso, upper torso, can move back and forth, side to side, on the ball socket joint. Same thing with the waist. The waist can move too. His legs move forward and back, in and out. Not too much. But, oh well. He can rotate here. Double joint knees. His ankle can move forward and he can bend. It can kind of rotate. I mean, it's like ball socket joint at the hip, at the actual ankle, the foot, and a joint that you can move, as well as move side to side. So, great articulation with this guy. I do like how he can, he's able to be posed. And, and the detail of him looks accurate. Just let me. Let me lift this thing up. He does have a likeness to how he looks in the game. I haven't played the. <sighs> Hold on. See what I mean? How his head not staying on. Anyway, I haven't played any of the X games. I played the. Mega Man Anniversary Collection for GameCube, but not the actual Mega Man X games, which kind of sucks. But yeah, now he does come with a lot of accessories, a lot of accessories. He comes with three pairs, three different sabers. He comes one that's sharp at the end with a pointed tip. I mean. One with a rounded tip. I gotta be careful not to drop those. And one slash effect blade. He also comes with some different hands. Two open hands. Two holding hands. Give an example. Two ha open hands. Two holding hands. And two fists. He also comes with an extra forearm. If you want to give him a normal arm with a fist on it, an extra buster tip for his buster that has the hole in it. The one that he has on the on right now has a gem in it, and if you don't want it there, you could just well, I'll show you how it works.
but then I can't, my iPad was tipping. See, there's the one with the gem. And you take this alternate one and just push it on there. See, that it has no gem. So if you want, like, if you have any other X figure, you can use the blast effect for it. Um, and for the to swap out the forearm with a normal arm, you could take the uh, pop it off, pop this off, take the forearm, just stick it on there, like so. See, both normal arms, and you still have the wrist joint, wrist articulation. You gotta make sure you push them all the way, otherwise they will not stay on. He also comes with some different faces. Well, he has a normal face on right now. It's hard to see because of the way that my iPod is. He comes with a yelling, screaming type face where he's looking to the looking to the right, which I'm not really a fan of him looking to the side cuz it's just I just don't like it when he looks to the side. I really like it if he's looking forward. <clears throat> he comes with a growling face where he's looking to the left. Again, I don't like the eyes, but the it's still cool to have it. It also comes with a third face, which is a where his winking face, like uh, I don't know if it's a manga type face. I heard that some people call it the the face from the manga. I don't know what that is, but he with that. And to swap them out, this is where the head comes off. Pops right off. And if you have fingernails, you just take just loosen up the sides like this. You just pull the front part off and it can sometimes catch the face. Take the face off. See, there's a normal face. This is what it looks like. Take the face you want. And there's two holes right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's. I mean, I mean, two pegs on the face and two holes on the. Um, on the back of the head. I don't know if you can see it, but there's two holes there that you push the face on like so. Then you take the front part of the face, the front part of the helmet, and push it back on. And there he is. But because now I will one thing say one thing, but his ponytail it does make his head. It is a bit heavy and it causes him to like. It makes it difficult for him to stand and holding it up like this, it the head can get loose. So, so I should warn you about that. Now, f you want? Know I'm just I'm just gonna change the face back to normal. I'm doing this off screen because I don't really wanna. Well, have you guys wait for that long? Just swapping, for swapping out the different faces, but you, you get what I'm getting at. You, if you remember, all right. I'm gonna take the body. There we go. Now to swap out the hands, it's easy. Just, oh, before I do that, the. the See what I mean? How he's hard to stand up because of his freaking hair. Jesus Christ! Just gonna lay him down like like that. Anyway, for only the rounded tip saber and the pointed tip saber, for both of these, well, all of them actually. They both, all of them have a removable end right here 
as well as the removable handle. You can take out the blade. And you see there's a hole there that you plug the handle in. So it could be like he's storing a blade on his back. Anyway, just swap out the hands. You take pops right off the ball socket joint it's a black one <clears throat> then you can take your open hand an open hand or a holding hand pop it on but if you want to have them hold the blade you gotta leave it off first take the end pop it off then you just put it right in his hand like so Oops, almost dropped it. Then you place the end back on. Now I will warn you that this, the end of the handle is small. So I would recommend to be careful not to lose this. Anyway, then you just plug hand, put the new hand on. Like so. You can have him holding his blade. You can hold either one. I will show you the open hand. Can you pop off the hand that you want to replace? And pop the new one in, like so. And there we go. Now, for a quick comparison, bring his hair down. I'm going to compare them to the my D Arts Mega Man X that I will be reviewing next. Yeah, I just book a rhyme. I don't like that. No. I could just straighten them out. As you can see, Zero, he's a little bit taller than X. Not too much. I mean, I've heard that he's X is 5'3 and Zero is 5'7. But to me, I think they should be the same size but oh well anyway that's my DR, DR0 really awesome figure hope you guys liked it and I'll see you next time this is Rick Ninja Productions saying see ya